Hey you guys, it's Teresa here with The Narc Remedy, and today's topic is going to be about are you the narcissist's primary supply? But before we jump into the topic, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, you guys, share, share, share the video so we can grow, and also put your notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I post new content like this. Let's begin. Okay, so you guys, are you the narcissist's primary supply? Now, this might sound like a good position to be in, but it's really not. But you will feel like it's a good position if you're still broken, still trauma bonding, and you're still soul tied to the narcissist. If you're healed or healing, you don't want any position in the narcissist's life. Being the favorite of the abused, the narcissist, means that you're abused in the most devious and hurtful ways. It means that you're the one they keep the most secrets from. And when the secrets come out, you are the most hurt by them. Being the primary supply for the narcissist is actually the worst position that you can hold with one. There is no glamour in it. There's nothing to be proud of about it. There certainly isn't anything real about it. Except for the level of abuse. Being the primary supply means you're the one who gets pooped on the most, if you know what I mean. It definitely doesn't mean the narcissist loves you more than the other supplies. You know, guys, I thought this at first when I was still broken and I still loved the narcissist. I thought he loved me more than the other supplies because he was with me the most. But they don't love any of you. And the narcissist that I was with, he didn't love me either. And what's so crazy about it is they won't let you go. Why? Because they need you to abuse. They have to have someone to blame to take the accountability that they're not willing to date. They have to have someone to scream at, to throw things at. They have to have someone to insult. They have to have someone to abuse in the bedroom, to take out all of life's anxieties and pain on. You're going to be their emotional punching bag. And sometimes physical. Being the primary supply means that you're the first person who gets pain and the most of it.
you are the person who gets the most of this person's evil. It's a terrible place to be. Believe me. Because I've been there. It's not some type of prize to be the narcissist's primary supply. It doesn't mean that they love you any more than the other supplies. It doesn't mean they care about you more. You're the one who gets screamed at the most, insulted the most, who gets blamed the most. It's not a good position to be in. You're the first one in the narc's harem, actually. Primary and main supply are the same. Anybody after that, they're just supply. So I want you guys to think about this. If you're the one who's getting screamed at, getting blamed for everything, getting things thrown at you, you're being insulted, you're being abused in the bedroom. You could be the narcissist's primary supply. So if you are getting those things handed to you, I suggest you leave. I suggest you leave. Because the narc is definitely going to keep you around. As long as you want to be around. And as long as you're willing to be around. So if you guys like this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video so we can grow. And also, put your notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I post new content like this. Bye, you guys.